Hi, Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church, Cleburne. I'm uh, just sitting back and relaxing, just got home from church and was going to sit down in my chair for a few minutes here and relax and wanted to go ahead and do the daily scripture reading with you. Today's scripture, since it's Friday, it's going to be on the chapter that we're going over in church on Sunday. So it, this today is Acts chapter 24. So if you would, pull out your Bibles and follow along. Or simply sit back and listen as I read Acts chapter 24. And after five days, the high priest Ananias came down with some elders and a spokesman, one Tertullus. They laid before the governor their case against Paul. And when he had been summoned, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Since through you we enjoy much grace, and since by your foresight, most excellent Felix, reforms are being made for this nation in every way, and everywhere we accept this with all gratitude. But to detain you no further, I beg you in your kindness to hear us briefly. For we have found this man a plague, who, one who stirs up riots among all the Jews throughout the world and is a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, but we seized him. By examining him yourself, you will be able to find out from him about everything of which we accuse you. The Jews also joined in the charge, affirming that all these things were so. And when the governor had nodded to, his, to him to speak, Paul replied, Knowing that for many years you have been a judge over this nation, I cheerfully make my defense. You can ver verify that it's not more than twelve days since I went up to worship in Jerusalem. And they did not find me disputing with anyone or stirring up a crowd, either in the temple or in the synagogues or in the city. Neither can they prove to you what they now bring up against me. But this I confess to you, that according to the way, which they all call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. So I always take pains to have a clear conscience before God and man. Now, after several years, I came to bring alms to my nation and to present offerings. While I was doing this, they found me purified in the temple, without any crowd or tumult. But some Jews from Asia, they ought to be here before you and to make an accusation, should they have anything against me, or else let these men themselves say what wrongdoing they have found. When, sorry, turning the page here. When I stood before the council, other than this one thing, I cried, <coughs> excuse me, I cried out while standing among them. It is with respect to the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial before you this day. But Felix, having a rather accurate knowledge of the way, put them off, saying, When Lysias, the tribune, comes down, I will decide your case. Then he gave orders to the centurion that he should be kept in custody, but have some liberty, and that none of his friends should be prevented from attending to his needs. After some days, Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish, and he sent for Paul and heard him speak about faith in Christ Jesus. And as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control in the coming judgment, Felix was alarmed and said, Go away for the present. When I get an opportunity, I will summon you. At the same time, he hoped that money would be given to him by Paul. So he sent for him often and conversed with him. When two years had elapsed, Felix succeeded, was succeeded by Porcius Festus, or excuse me, Porcius Festus, and desiring to do the Jews a favor, Felix left Paul in prison. So there you have it. You have Acts chapter 24. We see that Paul is facing Felix. The governor and the governor's not going to find anything wrong with him. He's not going to find any guilt in, in Paul, but he's going to keep him around for a couple reasons. He likes talking to Paul, and he was hoping to get some money from Paul. So we're still not finding any guilt in Paul, though. It's just an argument on what is going on. There's my dogs going outside and barking at, at each other. So just an argument about the resurrection from the dead, and and really the argument is is Jesus the Christ. So the Jewish, the Jewish leaders don't believe so. And Paul is absolutely convinced, as I am, that Jesus is the Christ and he's the way, the truth, and the life, just like he said he is. 
So I hope this is encouraging to you. I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Be sure to join us Sunday. <clears throat> you could join us for Bible study. We're going to be going over Acts 24. And then join us for this worship service at 1030 Sunday morning. The Bible stays at 9. Worship service at 1030. We'll be, I'll still be talking about Acts 24. And uh, the title of this week's sermon is God Defends the Faithful. I love you. Pray that you're having a blessed day. Pray that it's going well and that you're encouraged by this. And may God keep you and bless you until we speak again. Bye-bye.